Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we have a review. I'm going to be reviewing both of these lip products by Natasha Denona. We have a I need a nude lipstick and I have a nude lip crayon. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup makeup reviews, makeup tips, makeup tutorials. And in today's video, we have a new review. I'm going to be testing both of these by Natasha Denona. So I'm really excited to try both of these lip products by Natasha. And I bought mine on Sephora Portugal. The lipstick cost me 26 and 90 cents and the lip cream cost me 23 and 90 cents. Like, I had a little bit of discount because they were on Black Friday, so they had a 20% of discount. So it was a little bit less, but this is the price that they normally have on Sephora Portugal of both of these products. So if you want to know if they are worth it, if I like them or not, just keep on watching. Today we have a new review of these two lip products by Natasha Denona. So we have the lipstick and also the lip liner that I'm really excited to try because I've heard amazing things about both of these products. I wanted to tell you some information that I saw about both of the products so you know what kind of lip products both of them are. So about the lip liner. They say that it's a highly pigmented creamy matte lip pencil that defines lips while providing a rich, silky, long-lasting and comfortable wear. Includes five of the best sellings. I need a new lipstick shades and three new addictions with pink and beige undertones to achieve a your lips but better look. It delivers the intensity of a lipstick formula in a convenient pencil packaging for high precision. New and innovative formula and packaging balance a soft, easy slip-on glide application with a matte finish to define lips. We have eight shades of this lip liner and it says also that it's vegan, D5 free, talk free, mineral oil free, fragrance free and also cruelty free. And it's made in Italy and it has 1.2 grams. About the lipstick, it's a lightweight creamy formula with a softly luminous finish, deeply hydrating for comfortable and luxurious texture. Uh, inspiration for the names and colors come from the diverse and significant group of women who are working with Natasha around the globe to make her vision come to life. The collection includes one shade that is named after Natasha herself and it's her favorite perfect nude that she loves to wear every day. So the lipsticks are available in four distinct undertones, beige, neutral beige, neutral pink and also pink. This one is vegan, universally flattering for all skin tones. It has got to cola and orchid extracts that offer healing, hydrating and softening properties. It's weightless, butter soft film hugs lips like a balm, delivering a soft luminous finish. It's also hydrating for comfortable and luxurious texture. It's paraben free, cruelty free, fragrance free and gluten free. It's also made in Italy and this one has 4 grams. About the lip liner, the color that I decided to chose was, was the Hand one Natasha, that it's a light neutral pink and the lipstick, it's on the color 12 and B Michelle. It's a light, medium, cool, neutral beige. So I wanted to grab Natasha, but they didn't have uh, to deliver. So I decided to choose the other color that I also liked, that it was Michelle. I'm going to show you the packaging of both of the products now. Here we have the lip liner. As you can see that it's very beautiful. It's like on the pink tones, very beautiful, like rose gold, very beautiful. And here we have the color. And in here we have the lipstick. It is like this, very beautiful. You can see that I haven't touched it yet. We have in here the Han and D by Natasha Denona. In here we also have a rose gold and it's white and rose gold, a very beautiful packaging. <laughs> so I'm going to do just swatches so you can see the color on my hand. So here we have the colors. This one in here, it's the lip liner. This one, it's the lipstick. So 
The lip liner is more pink and this one is more beige, peachy kind of tones. I was hoping that like they combined. I don't know how they are going to combine, but I'm going to apply the lip liner and then a lipstick and see what it looks like. I really like the color of the lip liner. It looks like lips color. It looks like my lips color. So I'm I really like the color and it's also like very creamy and very easy to apply on the lips. Now it's drying, but when you are applying it, it's very easy to like put uh, even though uh, the little bit that I had in here, it's not here anymore, so I need to sharpen it. Look, it's almost the same look color as I have on my nails. It's so beautiful. I love it. The color is amazing and, and the formula also is amazing. So now let's try the lipstick. I hope that the colors combine a little bit because they are very different. I don't know how they're going to look together. So the lipstick, I love the color as well. They are different, of course. One is more pink and the other is more beige, but the color is also amazing. It's not too light, but not too dark. So I love the color. Maybe like Natasha would be too light for me. So I think that maybe Michelle was the right choice. I'm glad that he didn't have the Natasha. <laughs> because I really like this tone. The formula is also amazing, it's so creamy. Of course, if you want a matte lipstick, this is not the one for you because this is um, more cream and I don't have much creamy lipsticks. This looks amazing, I love the color. I wish that I had one like this in a matte because I don't have any exact color like this one in a matte version. One's for more the orange or the other for more the pink tones and this one is like a very neutral color. I like it, I love it, I love the color. So my final opinions about both of the beautiful products. So it's the first time, of course, that I'm using them. I want to see how they last on the lips, even though like this one is a creamy, so of course it's going to come out easier um, than like a matte one, of course. This one is matte, but because I used this on top, of course, it's going to become more creamy. In terms of colors, I think that the color of this one, as I told you, it's like the color, like I think that you can see, it's like the color that I have on my on my nails. And I love this color. I think that it's so beautiful. And on the lips, like I almost feel like it had the same color of my lip. So I, I loved it. I think that the color is amazing. And I think that I'm going to use this one probably a lot because it's matte so it's going to look like it's going to last with the masks and everything so I think that the lip liner like I want to try it more of course and see it also with lipsticks that I have that are matte and see how they perform together as well like only this one itself is amazing the color the formula it seems that it's going to last very well so I think that uh, maybe I have to buy one, one or other two of these um, to have more colors because I think they are totally worth it. About the lipstick, I think that the lipstick is amazing. Even though you know that I'm more of a matte lipsticks, I think that this creamy one, it feels so soft on the lips. So I'm really like, really, really liking it. But of course I want to try it more as well. And today I'm going to see how it lasts in the lips. I'm in love with the color. I think that the thing that I loved the most about this one is the color. It's so beautiful. I was thinking that maybe these two wouldn't look very good, but they look amazing together. So I'm happy with both of the colors that I chose. So as I told you, I'm glad I didn't have the Natasha and I needed to pick 
the Michelle because this color I don't know like if this is maybe the color that I have on my lips right now it's like the mix of the two but like the mix of the two is amazing so just to tell you that I'm glad that I tried this one and I want to try it more but like for the first time I loved both of them I want to try it more of course but they I have my heart right now. <laughs> so now I want to know what you thought about the video and about the products, the colors, if you have tried these ones yet or if you haven't and if you want to know, <laughs> I want to know everything. So go down there in the comments area and tell me everything. And don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get every notification so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you like this one, don't forget to also click on the thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use, so you can go there and follow me as well. Now that we are in the end of the video, I just want to thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you like this one, that you had a good time in here with me today. And thank you so much for watching until the end. Now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!